Let's talk about the biggest story in tech, maybe the biggest story in business, period. Artificial intelligence. It's all over the headlines, right? It's promising this incredible future of productivity and growth, but with every sky-high valuation, you gotta ask the question, is this the start of a whole new era, or are we just living inside another massive bubble that's about to pop? So, what is it? Are we looking at the next internet-level revolution? Or are we headed for another dot-com-style bust? Well, the answer isn't as simple as you might think, and that's exactly what we're going to unpack today. Here's our game plan. First, we're going to look at the incredible, almost unbelievable promise of AI. Then, we'll hit the brakes for a reality check, and trust me, there are some serious bubble signs. After that, we'll compare all this to the dot-com era, because you have to ask, is this time different? And finally, we'll map out the three most likely ways this could all play out. So let's dive in with the promise. All right, so first up, let's make the bull case. This is the argument that AI isn't just hype. It's a foundational technology that is, right now, creating trillions of dollars in new value and completely reshaping the global economy as we speak. You know, the numbers behind this bull case are just staggering. I mean, look at this. By 2030, PwC is projecting that AI could add $15.7 trillion to the global economy. We're not just talking about growth here. That's a fundamental rewiring of how the entire world does business. And this isn't some far-off, futuristic dream. The market is absolutely exploding right now. It's expected to shoot up to over $1.8 trillion by the early 2030s. That's a growth rate of almost 36% year after year. I mean, that's the kind of speed you only see when a technology is genuinely taking over everything. And look, this is not just venture capital hype. The biggest, most profitable companies in the world, we're talking Microsoft, Google, Amazon, they are pouring a combined $320 billion into AI this year alone. That's not just a casual bet. It's a massive, long-term strategic commitment. They're weaving AI into the very fabric of everything they do. And this value, it's not just theoretical. AI is already delivering tangible, real-world results today. In healthcare, it could save the U.S. system up to $360 billion a year. In finance, it's boosting sales leads by 50%. And in manufacturing, it's slashing material costs. This is already happening. Okay, so that's the dream. But for every one of those glowing projections, there is an equally alarming warning sign. So let's pivot and look at the other side of the coin, the mounting evidence that suggests we might just be in the middle of a classic, speculative, and maybe even dangerous financial bubble. This chart really gets to the heart of the whole bubble argument. Just look at these numbers. OpenAI could be valued at half a trillion dollars, while it's projected to burn through $8 billion in cash this year. In a classic bubble, the price isn't driven by today's reality, it's driven by a story about the future. And you know, this isn't just criticism coming from the outside looking in. The concern is coming from the absolute center of the industry. OpenAI's own CEO, Sam Altman, has said flat out that the market is for sure in a bubble. When the guy running the show is sounding the alarm, you really have to pay attention. And if you just follow the money, the story gets even crazier. In the first quarter of this year, a jaw-dropping 71% of all venture capital funding in the U.S. went straight into AI. That's not disciplined investing. That is a herd mentality driven by a massive, powerful fear of missing out. So why is there such a massive disconnect between the hype and the financials? Well, a huge reason is this thing called the implementation gap. It's this growing chasm between what AI can do, its potential, and the actual ability of businesses to use it profitably and at scale. The tech is amazing, no doubt, but actually making it work in the real world is proving to be incredibly difficult. And this number from a recent MIT study, it just shows you how wide that gap really is. 95%. Let that sink in for a second. 95% of enterprise AI projects are failing to deliver any kind of meaningful return on investment. So you have valuations priced for a revolution, but the reality on the ground for most is failure. So we've got these two powerful, completely conflicting stories. A game changer on one hand, a bubble on the other. To figure out what's really going on, it actually helps to look back at the last great tech bubble, the dot-com crash. How does this moment today compare to that one? Well, the contrast is pretty stark, actually. The dot-com boom, remember, was driven by unprofitable startups with really flimsy business models selling stock to the public. Today's AI boom, it's being led by already profitable giants, it's funded by their own corporate cash, 
and it's built on mature, proven cloud infrastructure. The foundation this time around is just so much stronger. And this leads us to a really crucial insight. The AI boom is what you could call a top-down revolution. The cost to even play in this game is so immense, billions in computing power, that it concentrates all the control among just a few established cash-rich players. So unlike the dot-com era, the big guys like Microsoft and Google aren't being disrupted. They're the ones driving the disruption. And that means if there's a correction, it would look very different. Less like a widespread market collapse and more like a huge concentrated write-down for just a few major corporations and VCs. So when you put all of this together, the promise, the peril, the history, where does the AI industry actually go from here? Well, the evidence seems to point to three pretty plausible scenarios. Okay, scenario one is the soft landing. We're calling it sustained transformation. This is where the bubble kind of deflates in a healthy correction. The weaker companies disappear and the industry matures into a steady long-term growth engine. Scenario two is the hard landing, basically a new AI winter. This is where a loss of confidence causes a sharp crash, which freezes up all the funding and stalls progress for years. And then there's scenario three the V-shaped recovery, or the productivity boom. In this world, a major breakthrough finally solves that implementation gap, unlocking exponential growth and proving all the hype was right all along. So ultimately, this brings us to the final, I think most critical question. The evidence is pretty clear that AI is a game-changing technology. The real debate isn't about if it's going to transform our world, but when. And the entire future of the industry really hangs on the answer to this one thing— can companies close that 95% failure gap and start delivering real value before those massive piles of investment cash finally run out? This special episode of the AI Daily Deep Dive podcast was researched by Gemini Deep Research and is fully AI-generated.